Hey everybody, it's Steven is Keyblade Fast Triple Threes, and welcome back once again from this mod of Doki Doki Literature Club. The story has been changing from this game because right now we have been so hanging out with Natsuki as she was the only best friend I have. Then next thing you know, we just met Monica because you know not much for it. So I think the story might be occur that right before we joined the Literature Club. Monica, on the other hand, still trying to figure out what we're she gonna do to find a, a club meeting, and still she had to work out for the um make a preparation because the festival starts happening for the weekend. I think so. If the clubs hadn't get about four or five members, then the club will have no choice but to dispense for it. I think that's what the story happens for Kurt. And yeah, the only thing I can say is we hanging out with Natsuki, she and I were like an amazing time we had for it. We're just somehow uh, baking some cookies and we're just playing along with it. And sometimes they're like arguing with each other, especially we like read mangas every day. I mean, what's the point? Natsuki likes manga, and I think that's how it is for it. And I'm not sure what happened, but between Monica and Natsuki, they like know each other, but but Monica already knew about it because she knows everything from the game. I mean. I don't know why she acted this way, but and she knows everything because after all, she's like she's a president, so it had to be some secrets for it. No, so before I got to start it, you might be wondering why my face kind of was you from the the right side instead of left. Well, mostly there's something happened changes from these, like trying to mess up a code for it, like the one they're trying to delete you and Natsuki from the previous previous video. The last time I know. That Monica did, and yeah, that's how this was. So it's going to show us what's gonna happen for it. And also, I didn't open the game file because there's nothing involved with it. Because nothing happens for it. It doesn't have a change at all for a bit since this is the mod, so we got nothing to worry about for it. So yeah, I think that's what it is for it. So I think that this part that occurs, the uh, Natsuki uh, somehow met Monica, and she said she knew about hers for some reason. We are now, but anyway, let's just get started with the loaded game. And this is the part I just got here when we have a talk. Anyway, let's just get started. <clears throat> here we are! We start near a door. Is this the place? There's a sign over it that reads, Debate Club. As Monica said, this room is empty and even closed. Through the window, one can clearly see that this room hasn't been used for a while. For a long while, at that. Monica takes out a pair of keys and starts trying each of them on the lock. She finally gets one inside and turns it, allowing us to hear the distant sound of the closed door opening. She turns it off and opens the door. And that's how for the literature club is going to be open up for her. Oh, this is worse than I thought! As soon as I step inside, the dust is easily smelled. What are you talking about? Everything doesn't look clean to me. I mean... If we get some background, it's like everything's all completely dirty for it, that used to be. On top of that, there are cobwebs in the window. Oh, I think a lot of clean stuff. Despite all, the room feels nice and big. This is... Awfully dusty. Oh, uh, I hope that doesn't take you aback. No way, having to clean it a little isn't a drawback, right? I look at Natsuki, who has been looking all over the place. What? Oh yeah, sure! We can handle this, as long as we don't need to fly with vertical maneuvering equipment afterwards. I'm game. Uh, what? Translation, she's fine by cleaning it a little. Yeah. Sorry, Monica. I used to be talking to Steven all the time. Oh, don't mind me. I'll grow used to it, don't worry. After that, Monica offered us some cleaning tools she found in the closet, and we start cleaning the place. Well, we're just gonna clean up to do. I mean, the way how it looks, it everything's all clean. I just said, "Oh my god!" Ow! I hear something coming from the closet. Is that Natsuki uh, hurt by the boxes, textbooks, boxes? Hearing that sound and the voice that follows it, I know who was hurt already. It's Natsuki. She popped in the closet. Natsuki, are you right? Yeah, sorry. I tried to look up here, but the box fell onto me. Okay, it was a box, man, not the books. Are you hurt? I managed to dodge it, but I fell. That's all. You don't need to worry about it. <laughs> I can clean up later. Well, I may be shorter, but I can handle this. I mean, there are no more boxes here, so I will be fine. Probably. 
These last words don't precisely make things fine for me, but I decided to continue with my part. And still continue while cleaning. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, I don't know how long it would take. It's only about two or three hours. That's how it is. Wait. Natsuki, Monica, and I stand at the front of the club, facing towards the rest of the room. Well, this is a lot cleaner now. Sure is. I really want to thank you two for having me. Nice to bone. I have the rest of the evening free. Don't mention it, really. I should thank you for allowing us to join this clown. He was should always he. Ah, sorry. Oh no. This time I didn't understand it. It's a reference to how he was supposed to always save the day. Maybe. Okay. But Monica, have you ever watched TV before? You're only concerned about reading and writing. Well, let's say you passed. But you have to keep training or else you won't reach our level anytime soon. Yes! Now that I'm sure that those two will get along, I sat down at the table and opened my text notebook. Natsuki and Monica grabbed their seats near me and continued talking. I overhear the conversation a bit. They're talking about the festival and which sweets make to make. Monica seems especially happy about all this, and Natsuki is clearly excited. I ignored it for a while, and I start, as I start doing my homework. Yeah, I'm doing my doing homework, just none of my business. And this will get distracted. Why is there sign, my minion? What? Seriously, I can't scare away too much lately. Did I fell asleep when I do homework? Did I space out again? Yeah. Where's Monica? She already left, didn't you notice? Know I look around the club, but Monica's nowhere to be found. I'm starting to get concerned about you. If you hadn't been like this since day one, I would already ask you about your health. But you used to be, right? What other opinions do I have? If this, if this were a virtual novel, I would learn to save and change my opinions a little. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the? What do you say loads a save and change my opinion? Options a little. Don't tell me you're breaking the fourth wall, like Monica. Are you the one who's doing this? Let's key! I don't know what happened. I just come insane anyway. But well, you don't get to decide who get who you get along with with the real life. It just happens. Talking about getting along, I hope you and Monica do. I have my worries there. Oh, that. Well, you see, I still have these odd feelings about me and her. Oh, is it because you don't? You might know her for long, too long. Even though you don't even know what happened for the past two game story changes. It's like when you knew someone when you were a little, you had to move, and then, but then you had, but you came back and start hanging out with them again. But you don't realize they're the one you used to play with them when you were little. That only happens in manga. But uh, that only happens in manga, Natsuki. Are you sure? Hmm. Let shit again. Oh. Oh. Oh my god! Okay, she finally figured out who's Monica is. What is it? It's her! Finally get to know how her senses. Her? Monica? No! She goes by... Demo something. Demo? What is she talking about, Lusty? I'm sure it's her. I'm sorry, Natsuki, but you lost me like three nights ago. Yeah, she said a demo. I don't get what she's talking about. She's someone I met a long time ago on the net. The person was always saying how light novels are the better way to see anime. I know that it doesn't sound like her, but that person once posted a pic of herself and it was pretty similar. Wait, if that's true, since she said that she also recognized you. Ah! Forget about all of this! Let's get around to the club, probably trying to avoid my further questioning. In about no time, I get a message on my phone. Really? After she runs out and looks at my phone to see what she said, it's Natsuki. She tells me that she will wait for me near the front door. Really? Natsuki? You just run out and text me and just let, her, let me know about it when you're finished. But if I ask about that again, she just leave for the real this time. She adorable when she gets mad, but I shouldn't make her angrier. Really? My mother has always taught me that everything has to be done with moderation. Okay, you... You can kind of weird, but I'm not sure. I mean, Natsuki is still my second favorite characters of all. I mean, 
We used to like hang out, but argument? I don't think so. Even teasing friends for fun. I grab myself to leave the club. Okay, I think that's how it's going to happen. Done. I closed my notebook after finishing all the homework for tomorrow. Today has been a rough day, but I shouldn't avoid my obligation as a student, no matter what. In fact, Natsuki might get mad if I do. Anyways, tomorrow should be even better. I wonder what kind of poems Monica will use. Whether it have rhymes or not. Whether it will be better or not. While thinking about that, I finish my preparation for tomorrow and go to sleep. Oh, what is it? A countdown, Savalo. Succeeds. Oh, this is starting to happen kind of to kick your name for it. That's the reason why... Uh, but Mr. Fake's gonna find it. Oh my god, there's something changes. What did you do? Monica, so you have open as M. Change it. Warning, he would have a perfect shift. I don't know, what the heck does that mean? Cannot change that. Cannot change that. There's something to say error. Return. Insufficient permission. You are no longer in control. You are no longer my in control. Is that talking about me? Delete the account. Dance of out. Dia Savalo? Wait, Dan Savato? Oh, she's trying to move, move Natsuki! Uh, check files, name, start, well, yes, behavior, aggressive. Natsuki CR, open this N. Change in the behavior from the aggressive to inferred. Error unable to change. What did you try to do? Apply changing. What just happened? It's like the game's. <laughs> this game's amount changes. Destroys state date at the festival. Date date to Sunday. What? Resume game execution. That is so messed up. Okay, now it's everything messed up as well for the music. I mean, look at this. Um, what just happened? It's like it was from like from the left side, left top. It's like something changes. And yeah, speaking of changes, I might save. And it's a common name. It's supposed to be Monica, right? It is Monica! What are you doing here? What to say? What? Really? I had to say something? Is that any option? Class has just ended so... Huh? What are you saying? Class ended a long time ago! Wait, is this at the time about... During the festival? Before the festival starts? What just happened? I don't know! It's like something trying to change myself and then Natsuki Someone's trying to delete her. I don't know what's that mean, but whoever did this got to be Monica, isn't it? But her said dance Dia Savalo. It's supposed to be dance Savalo, isn't it? Classic it a long time ago. What? Seriously? I guess that just space out hard. Sorry. Steven, are you alright? Can you tell me what day it is? What day is today? Isn't it Sunday? Wait, Sunday wasn't. No school for it. I don't know. Just, I don't know the Japanese school for it. You see, they have like no weekend in, for the school in here in America. I don't know about in Japan. Just don't judge me. Then silent. Oh. Yeah, that's what I expected. Should I walk you around? No, I think I can manage. Thanks anyway. Okay, come to time. And Monica's now. I think very strange right now. Wait, can I ask you a question, Steven? I guess so, yeah. Are you, Steven? Okay, she's... Is she talking to me or the main character? Huh? Of course I... Of course, I'm me. Why do you ask? Oh, it's nothing. Monica, you're acting very strange. Is it because of me? The way how I talk? It's kind of complicated, but if you, you, then everything is fine, I guess. You two are strange today, Monica. Yeah, I'm sorry. To be honest with you, I had this really strange dream. As if someone tried to... Mess up the code, isn't it? You knew, Monica. Is it because of you? It's nothing. Are you sure? I can always say. I can always hear you. You can count on me. Steven. Thank you. Anyways, I got to go home. Uh, Natsuki is probably already mad at me. Right, I'll stay here a little bit longer, preparing for tomorrow. Have fun, you two! Where to move? Home. Even though they have, like, a location for it. Um, anyone? 
Hey, long time no see. It's been a while. If you you dance a bundle, you have to tell me what the wrong with me. That someone's got hacked? It seems many time I got hacked. I'm still here, don't worry. It seems like something has changed. Yeah, it is changed. Like something wrong with me, so they're trying to do with Natsuki. Let me try to restore things up. Final restore to characters and I never restore. Wait, is this about Natsuki? Hmm. I can't restore Natsuki. Yeah, something did change it! But not Natsuki, but why her? I did restore Steven, though. Yeah, you did restore me, but why not her? Sorry, that's about all I can do. Keep pressing on. I'm with you. Okay, then. I just had the no choice to keep going. I arrive at home. From where? My head. I feel like I'm about to faint. Yeah, I don't remember doing anything strange. In fact, I don't remember anything I did today. Well, that's because we passed for like, I don't know, two weeks before the festival's about to start? As It's as if I just woke up, but instead of being in my bed, I was here. Did I sleepwalk? No, we just been like a week. That's what happens, isn't it? I most likely just space out like I usually do. I try to remember that last thing I am able to. And the festival comes up. I probably just spaced out thinking about what we're gonna do, going to do for the festival. I shake my head. As I realize that it won't accomplish anything, I turn the knob on the, my front door. Well, yeah, this is not good. When I come inside, I smell something big coming from the kitchen. Mom? Mom, is that you? It smells like muffins. Muffins? Ma, did you make muffins? I don't know if there's main character to have a mother. Or any parents. Oh, you're back! Natsuki, what are you doing in my house? Where were you? When I came to the- Oh, just whoa, 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 Okay, it did glitches. What does it say? Oh, come on! It's happening all over again between Yuri! Dang it! I wish I could read what it says. When I came in to start baking the switch for tomorrow, you weren't there. Oh, yeah. I went out to take a walk, I think. You think? Hey, Steven, are you alright? Well, I think I may be a little off today, but it's nothing to worry about. Well, I don't think I can force you to rest. But since you aren't going to do much, I guess you'll be resting anyway. By the way, I brought you my entire manga collection. It's in your house. It's in your room. Really? Natsuki, how many books do you have? Is it not a profane, girls? You did what? What gives? Now that you ask me, I don't really know why I just felt the urge to bring it over here. Maybe so you can bring it to the club tomorrow. I'm too little. I hate being. Okay, I last part said I hate being too cute. That's what it says, right? I'm too little. I'm too little and cute to carry that. That's your excuse. That's my excuse. Why well, not to insist that it is the only reason I know better? I know that Natsuki actually doesn't know herself why she has done that. And I wouldn't mind her randomness, but knowing that I myself had to deal with such a such a thing earlier. The fact that I was doing something without knowing why. Natsuki, can I ask you something serious? G why? What what kind of seriousness are you asking? A certain kind of serious. Uh, oh yeah, I guess you can. Okay then. Are you Natsuki? Oh my god. Now it's my turn to beat Monica and tell her if she is the real Natsuki because you know that she the way how it glitches her uniform and her face it changes just like I've um about the poem that explained about Yuri and Monica. I asked that stupid question. One so stupid, so simple, and so easy to understand. Yet one that could easily throw away any kind of concern I have for Natsuki. Are you blind or something? Of course I'm Natsuki. No, not like that. What I meant to ask is, are you really to say Natsuki? I guess I can't hide anything from you, can I? I really was hoping for a positive answer here. Is she gonna tell us everything? I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't give her so much just to hear her complain about my stupidity. Just to see that I was being paranoid, or even that I didn't know her as I thought I did. I'm not feeling okay today. Oh, really? I don't want to go back home today. Oh, that's not good. Is it about her father abuse again? I even rushed out of the house as soon as I woke up. I... 
Natsuki, are you okay? Are you alright? No. For some reason, I really hate my home. I... <laughs> I'm scared of my father. Yeah, now the funny mentions the story. Why Natsuki have abuse from his her father? But I don't know why she, her father would do that. That such nonsense. Is it because she like all stuff that she has or not? I don't know. I fear he found out that I came to your house. I really fear he found out that I like manga. I. Natsuki becomes silent for a while. She sniffs as her tears continue to flow down from her eyes. She trembles, seeming unable to react to anything. But she pulls me wrong when she runs towards me. Please, help me! I embrace her, slowly and lightly. It is a strange moment to realize it, but for the first time I notice how pity she is. That only made me want to protect her even more. You dummy, you can always count on me. Even when you think you're alone, I'm here for you. Steven... Can I live with you? Huh? Oh, now she wants to stay with me forever, isn't it? It's now that we become married or something. I don't know. It's between... We're all kids. We're all high schoolers. So what's the deal? I'm sorry. That's probably... No, don't get me wrong. I was just surprised. But if you asked me for something like that, with such a serious tone, I cannot say no. Are you sure? I don't have a thing to give you. I'm useless. I don't care what you consider yourself to be. You you will be always not to get to me. And I will always hear you out. Help you. And be there for you. I... Steven... It's okay we stay like this for a while. If I... I feel really safe. Of course you can, silly. You can always ask me for a hug. I won't complain. In fact, I'm also scared. I feel like I could disappear at any moment. Yeah, once like game finish, we'll be gone forever. That's how a game ends. Being like this with you, I feel like I'm here and that I won't go away. I help Natsuki tighter. She doesn't make any move, so I guess she doesn't mind. Another day passed. We stayed like this for a while. Did another day have passed? Some time passes and we separate. Sorry about all that. Me too. And I guess this just shows how much a friend you are to me. And so are you, I guess. I never thought we would end up like this. Me? Wait, uh, that's what I said, what? I never thought we would end up like this. Me neither. But I guess I'm really glad you were here. By the way. No! What? What? What am I gonna say? By the way, did you need to get something from your home? That was what I said. And then something glitches, so. And she said, No! Please don't make me go back there! Not to keep relax. I won't make you really. I'll just ask. I'm sorry. Jeez Louise, that scares me to dead. It's like if not to get start freaking out like, No, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go to that home anymore. I think that's what she's start freaking out. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you that yet. Anyways, don't worry about that. I took my school uniform and all the money I had at my home. Uh, th th Natsuki saying? Yeah, it was Natsuki. Anyways, anyways, don't worry about that. I took my school uniform and all the money I had at my home. As long as you gave me a place to live, I will start working to get some money to live on. You ain't doing enough for me. I'll sleep on the floor, but if I may, I would like to s like some blankets. No, I won't let you sleep on the floor. You sleep in my bed. Oh, okay. I think we're gonna do something like a sleepover again. Just what we did to say, are we? Yeah! I, I can't! I can't make you sleep somewhere else when what, when I'm comfy in your bed. And I can't let you sleep on the floor either. Then... Sleep with me! What? I say sleep with me! Of, of course, I don't intend anything to happen. But your bed should be big enough for the two of us. Uh-huh. Well, I think so. So let's not talk about that anymore until we go to sleep. I need to concentrate on the suite for tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'll sit down here and tell me if you need any help. I don't think I want to explode anytime soon. I have to continue to make some more muffins. 
the ones that had already been made when I arrived have already gone cold enough. Even the ones that are oddly shaped have to. Netsuke put the latter on the table and invites me to eat one of them. I decided to accompany the oddly shaped muffins with something to eat. And again, I become a prisoner of my attention being problem as I know everything in my surroundings. Okay, we'll just eat muffins every now and then. I'm really happy Natsuki is here for me. In more than one way, I like her. And the only thing I'm ashamed of is the fact that I had to face this bizarre problem in order to realize that. She is something really pre precious to me. Of course, Monica has become something precious for me as well during this week. During this week? I just realized what was off. Yeah, now it just starts kicking in. Like, do we remember the past last week? Because from this part, someone has been hacked. This day has been changes. And it, it changed the time before the festival was about to start. The problem I have not been realizing this whole time. How can I be so stupid? The last thing I remembered is the day we three formed the literature club. We were cleaning the place and we didn't have much time for the festival. But I'm sure it was more than just one day. Did I just forget the entire week? Yes. Yes, it is. Because we've been hacked. It's gotta be Monica, isn't it? I can't sort it out. I'm really obvious to what the H happened during this entire week. And I don't want to worry not to anymore. So I'll keep this quiet for now. Maybe Monica could help me with this. I'll let's go tomorrow. Okay. Now I got the silent. The rest of the day passed without much trouble. I was reading the entire time, but for some reason, I wasn't able to concentrate. Or rather, I didn't space out like I usually do. Does this mean I overcome my problem? Am I this awesome after all? And that's done! Nice job, Natsuki! My mouth was trying to control my body so I can't steal one of those you all made. No! Bad boy! Natsuki pointed at me with a wooden spoon he's been using for the recipe this entire time. Aww, oh, really? Let me just have one. Besides, I already gave you what I didn't consider good enough, didn't I? But... No buts! I had to cut ten myself with the dough, so you already eaten a much better thing than me. Speaking of which, I stand up and get near the kitchen. There, a bowl of leftover dough is lying near the sink. I said she hasn't cleaned it yet. She's looking at the muffins, so I guess she hasn't noticed what I'm doing. going to do. I pick some dough with my index finger. Okay, we're gonna do this again. we we'll do the... The lick thing and touch a moment. And I get Natsuki. Hey Natsuki, there! In the swift move, faster than I can ever imagine, I feel the exact same sensation I felt last time. Oh, you slight <laughs> Natsuki. <laughs> oh, I can see her face, it got dough all over it. <laughs> that is to say, Natsuki is still a step ahead of me. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to beat me. Seriously, you're right. Yeah, she hasn't realized that I'm already at her level. Oh. Yeah, you haven't won. It's a draw this time. Hey, you shouldn't put this to waste, you know. Let's get picks the dough on her face and eat it. Did she seriously lick it from her face? Ew, gross. Look who's talking. I did the same by tasting the sweet dough Natsuki has been eating this entire time. I don't get why, but the raw dough has it on the peel. But eating too much would be bad for your health, so I restrained myself from licking the entire bowl clean. So as I wish, I should be good. Sorry, not used to. Don't mind me, bone it. By the way, would you like to go ahead and take a bath first? I can't wait. Besides, you've been working all this time, so you should go first. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll finish up soon enough. Take your time, Natsuki. And please call me if you need anything. Do you tend to summon such a common manga cliché? You wish! I'm only going to sleep with you. I can wait. Gosh, why? Way to make me feel gross out here. I mean, it's not a way how to do sexual things, isn't it? You asked for it. Anyways, I'm going to take a bath now. Okay, as I said, take your time. Let's go upstairs to the bathroom. I stay in the kitchen, softly fighting my inner urge to take a muffin and swallow it. Like, oh, maybe you want to eat some more muffins. I wish I want some muffins. But just as I stun to move towards them, I hear someone knocking on the front door. Coming! I wonder who could that be? Is some strange visitor? Is it Monica? I go to check out who is knocking on my door.
Uh, that's the old man for it. I don't know. Excuse me. I'm searching for a lost kid. I, as I open the door, I find myself facing an old man whose eyes look as if he had a really bad day. Nonetheless, he's searching for a kid, so I must at least answer. Uh, I'm not sure I see any. What does a kid look like? The man raised his hand to almost as he sighs from the ground. Uh-oh. Is that her father? I, I don't like this. It's about this size. Has an unnatural hair color, and his name is Natsuki. Oh, that's Natsuki's father. Oh, no. The he found... He's going to figure out that Natsuki is staying in my house. Hope not. Oh. He's his father. My mind goes completely blank. Psh, mind blown. Even though it's strange, I can't see what Natsuki's father would be look like for it. Since that's a father never made it, but someone uh, who made this mod, who made the characters. If they might know of. Unable to hide my son's surprise, I tried to talk. I, well, she shouldn't be here. I mean, I don't know anyone like that. Let's get found a raise an eyebrow. I know clearly that I have already been caught. You said something interesting there. How did you know I I was talking about a girl when I didn't state her gender? Also, Natsuke is an unisex name, so... You do know where my daughter is, don't you? Getting as nervous as I can become, I try to excuse myself out of this situation. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I really don't know anyone like that. I finally glanced towards my home's entrance. Oh no. And he seemingly noticed something. What a nice pair of shoes you have there. Are those your sisters? Um, yes! Yes, I do! I have a sister! I have a little sister! Then I realized he saw Natsuki's shoes. Um, no, it's not Natsuki's. It's my sister's. My mind goes completely and not to blink, and my amazingly switched off. I can't wait act. You're lucky I'm an officer, and I can't enter your home without permission. Wait, if Natsuki's father is a police officer? Oh, please, don't don't take me for uh, under arrest for sexual harassment. Please, don't let anything happen to me. I'll come tomorrow with the official one, and no matter what happens, I'll get my daughter back. Of course, I'll send some co-worker to seize this home house, and i know immediately if Natsuki comes in, or out of this home. Is that clear? Y yes, but as, as I say, I... Save yourself your lives for someone who actually buys that crap. I've been in this job too long to allow myself to get lied to by a mere student. I really wish Natsuki were not here for your own good. The old man turned around, showing me his back. For a moment there, I could see him smiling. I sent a chill through my spine. <laughs> I need to protect Natsuki from this guy. Yes, yeah, because he's gonna do that again for the abusive one again. My whole body is screaming that sentence. Like, oh no! What am I gonna do? Even someone as stupid as plain as I can tell that under the skin of a serious police officer, a cruel man is hiding. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna tell Natsuki about her, fa her father is here in the house? Thinking about where she might be? As I finally see the man leave, I close my door, lock it, and go straight to my room. Once I am there, I sit on my bed. I'm unable to say something ending, and I'm still not able to think of a solution for this. What am I going to tell Natsuki? Should I even tell her anything? As I'm still trying to think about what to do, I hear a bathroom door opening. Natsuki must have finished taking her bath. As I hear the door opening, I decided not to say anything. There, I'm done. What? No pajamas? Well, it's kind of curious. I like to see a nuts gaze wearing pajamas. You're kind of disappointing me here. Yeah. Of course I'm not wearing pajamas. I even bought what I used before. Huh. Should I clean it instead? You can use some of my clothes for the time being. Wait, what? Are you seriously going to let nuts to borrow my clothes? It's all... I'm a guy, so I don't have an access or anything. To turn you on? No thanks, this is really bizarre enough as it is. Let's not make it worse. By the way, I heard some noise. It was just a salesman. Don't worry. My mother has kind of gotten addicted to subscription and stuff. I don't care what happened here, but please, don't lie to me. Oh no, she's done to me. I know your mother hasn't come here for about a year ago, so... Uh-oh. Did she, did she figure out that I, my parents are not even there? I guess I can't hide anything from you either. I cannot keep this to myself after all. Let's get going to find out tomorrow anyway, whether I'll tell her or not. We can't go to the vessel anyway. We're homebound. 
your father came. I figured. I don't remember him being especially hard to other people. But I have a feeling that, for whatever reasons, since last week, he's been really harsh. What did he say? He said that he'll get the permission to investigate this house by tomorrow. And should he find you, he'll take you back and God knows what will happen to me. I'm really sorry. I think I'm going back home. What? No! Don't be stupid! You'll be stupid here! You're just dragging yourself into all this ass without even considering what I feel about it. What if I don't want you to get involved after all? What, you're the one asking me to stay? If something happens to you... Let's go silent without ever ending that sentence. And what if I want to be involved? Because I also feel like if something happens to you, knowing I could have done more. I would have to live on, knowing I had a chance, but I slip it up. I let it slip. It's not fair. It's not about fairness. It's about facing a completely crazy guy who has more contacts and influence than you. Wait, is that the right... Is that the right one, right? Yeah. I'm not sure. I thought it was a nice fire. You're literally asking to get hurt. I said we cannot allow someone as precious as you are to harm himself just for being reckless. Nice guy is right. Her father's smart. He has contacts given his job. And by tomorrow, not even my home will be a safe place. Someone like me, who can only stand there dumbfounded before him, couldn't possibly win. Even so, when everything's going down the street with no breaks... No, please. I know what's the best from you. Even I don't recall this type of stuff happening before. I know for a fact that he's dangerous. He's going to kill you. And then, he's going to kill me. No, no, Natsuki, not you. There's no way he's going to kill you like this. No. I don't want you to be killed just because you're trying to play the hero here. Natsuki stood there, tears flowing down her cheeks at the fast pace. She's crying, isn't she? But not because she's sad. She feels helpless. Like someone who realized that when she needs the most, she's unable to change even the simplest of things. I want to help you, Natsuki. Please, let me help you. I can't. Trust me, I want to be helped it. Not if it costs this much. I... Hmm. What are you thinking, Dan Salvador? Are you thinking of a plan? I think we should intervene. What? What's your plan? Wait a second, Steven. What is he going to do? Uh, MC promote temporarily and this was destroyed. Finally restored the character. There, that should do it. Wait, are you going to do say it to him? I give you a partial control of Steven. Wait, me? I had to tell him about that? What are you going to type in? Tell her you got a plan. I think that by tomorrow. Yeah, I should have everything sorted. Are you sure you got a plan? I got a plan. Huh? You have to trust me on this, Natsuki. I'll save you by tomorrow. <sighs> What's wrong with her? Who are you? Oh no, she did the same thing with Monica. Eh? I'm not asking Steven, I'm asking you! Wait, is she talking to me right now, breaking the fourth wall, like Monica? Who are you? Why are you talking to me using Steven's body? Uh, you could tell I'm not him? I mean, I have a same name, you know. Even though we had no like what the main character would look like. How? I just know you're not him. Are you the one who made this mess? No, I, I, no, 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 no. If you think about me, no, I, I did not do play in game. I mean, after all, this is game after all. Who turned my life upside down? Answer me! I'm the one trying to avoid that. Then who made all this? I can't tell you that, I'm afraid. Yeah, I clearly know who that is. Either Dan Savalo or either Monica. The last time I know the... Monica did appear for it because they always being crazy, no, Dick. And she's trying to leave everything. You do know who's that fault, do you? In that case, please, help me. Help Steven. Please. Oh my gosh, what's with this language? I don't get what you're saying, or what am I saying? That's key. That allow him to help you. I'll have something figured out by tomorrow. Fine. But if something happens to my Steven, I'll kill you. Oh no. Please tell me don't become like Yuri. Please. 
mean, you and my girl are after all, but I, I promise you, I'll do anything I can. I'm promoting MC. Uh, to think that Natsuki could find you out. She's really strong, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. Even though she may be cute, she may be know how to cook, but she might be strong. She even remained calm and listened. I'm really sorry for breaking her. I feel that he could have gone along much better. I reversed Steven's control into himself. It's all new, so you have to be extra careful. Find the weak point in her game modifications. There must be one somewhere. How? The only thing I know the her father's coming to our house, trying to take Natsuki away, and the only thing uh, gonna do is she think she's going to abuse her again. Huh? Natsuki wiped down her tears and looked at me. Are you awake now? Oh, yeah. Did I space out again? Kinda, but well, I hope you don't use that as an excuse after what you promised. I what? <sighs> you said that you had a plan. You promised that it wouldn't be dangerous. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, of course I meant it. You'll see. To be honest, I don't have a clue what she was talking about. But if what she says allow me to protect you, so be it. Well, I was going to finish up homework for tomorrow, but I can pretty much tell that we aren't allowed to exit this house. So I'm going to sleep now. I left the bath with fresh water for you either earlier, but it might have gone a little bit cold. Maybe, but I'll go take it anyways. I don't dislike lukewarm water. Let's get sit, sat on the bed while watching me leave the room. Okay, now it's my turn to take a shower, then come to bed. bed. Ah, that was actually night. I stopped talking as, not, as soon as I see Natsuki just falling asleep. Her cheeks are still red, and the side of the cushion she is laying on is wet. She must start crying as soon as I left the room. When she's sleeping, she really looks like a little innocent girl. I close the door slowly, trying not to wake Natsuki up. Yet somehow I managed to make just enough sound for her to wake up. She only opens one eye, looking at me while she's remaining still. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to fall asleep. Don't worry, I don't mind. Natsuki looks at the wall, avoiding my eyes. C can you? Natsuki tried to ask me something, but couldn't end the request. Luckily enough, I know what she was trying to ask beforehand. I turn off the light and go to bed, carefully crawling to avoid t touching Natsuki. Okay, now the room is getting darker. I'm not sure if you can see it, but wow. You can see the whole place so get darked up. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Sorry, I need to... I really need to just messy for it. Well, I said was something stupid I just did without realizing it because of what she asked of me. Once I lie in the bed, Natsuki turns around. There we are facing each other. Yet she quickly buries her face in my chest, not even allowing me more than a glance at her eyes. You're warm and cozy. Hugging you almost like makes me forget everything that's happened. I wrap Natsuki in my arms once again. She doesn't react to that. Am I allowed to feel like this? You smell nice too. Natsuki has been a little off now, but knowing all that's been happening lately, I guess it's fine. Hey, Steven? Yes, Natsuki? Isn't it weird for you to see me like this? I've always been harsh on you, haven't I? I won't say harsh, but I guess it's strange to say, see you being this clingy. I'm going to tell you. I thought at first you were coming near me just because I was a girl. I thought you were kind of disgusting, so at first, I really meant all those insults. It's something I've always been doing incentively. Not only to you, but to everyone. And most of the time, even when I don't want to say those things, I still do. That's why I used to be all alone back then. And the fact that I like manga didn't help at all. To be honest, most of the time, the people who talked to me were boys. And they always wanted to get along with me just because I was a girl who happened to like manga. It's nice for you to meet people you can talk with, but I don't want people to treat me better just because I'm a girl. That's why I kind of hate the fact that I love manga this much. But on that day, I had the urge to read the latest issue because I was waiting for it since last month. You found me then. You started talking to me. And it didn't matter how hard I insulted you. You just kept coming.
coming back for me. Uh, coming back for more. Well, that's what I thought. But I soon realized you weren't there for me. You were there because you wanted to talk about manga. After the first two months, I started feeling that I want to meet you more and often. I could be myself around you. You have been there for me all this time. Even now, when I need someone the most, the only one here for me is you. Natsuki pushed her face towards my chest a little bit more. It's ironic, isn't it? Uh, I would say it was a long talk. The same one who rejected all those guys because she didn't want them to treat her better just because she was a girl. The same one who avoided relationship. That girl, she found someone different, someone she can act like herself around. And she suffered she fell in love with that guy. Uh, I... Did she just confess her true feeling? I, I really don't know how to answer her. She obviously waiting for her answer, but I'm probably not only surprised. I'm speechless. I don't get it. I don't get what Natsuki is saying. I'm so confused. My brain is trying to escape this situation, but my heart already knows the answer. I inhale deeply and push Natsuki away a little. I release my breath in one short sigh. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? Why? It's hard to answer what you just asked, but well, I'll try my best. Oh, what? On answering me? There's no need to think, really. You don't need to... No, silly. I will try my best to live up to your expectation. Steven. Nice guy stays still, frozen in place, and remains silent. And I'm probably the same. I feel like my heart is about to explode anytime soon. I... God, this is really difficult. What What are you going to say, Nesky? I'll... You don't need to force yourself, Nesky. I don't mind if you just can't say it now. No, please. I made up my mind. I love you. I... I love you! There, I said it! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Natsuki. Oh, that was so nice. I'm going to blast you past this test of strength again. Well then, I'll try to ask for this as much as I can. Gah! <laughs> Shut up! Natsuki hits me with her right hand in my chest. She steps away from me a little and starts laughing. I can't help but laugh with her. This is the happiest moment I ever had in my life. Well, not technically it is because of her father. It's ironic like how this is only possible thanks to the issue from before. Okay, now the music kicks in. And they have passed it, and I'm going to be leaving it for now, huh? Because it's been a long, long time for it. But I'll come back to it later because we made sure we're almost there finishing with Natsuki's story. Posture, but the only problem is her father is gonna be gonna do another abusive again to her. Or she, he was planning to kill her for it, but who knows. If my characters is going to do the same thing as well, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I think that's how it is for it. But anyway guys, that's been your share for Toki Toki Lechika. But I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but I'll come back for it next week if I have free time for it. So anyway guys, if you like this video, hit the like button too. Light them up if you want to see my videos, so check out the other videos and go subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later!